feel like I'm gonna create an army of modders uh, with this video. Hey guys, King of the North here, and in this tutorial video, we are going to uh, walk through how to edit all the NPCs inside of Mount Blade Bannerlord. And in this example, we are going to cover some of the uh, Sturgeon troops, uh, the caravans, along with the uh, militia troops. So it should be pretty fun and pretty uh, pretty juicy. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we're going to look at is the two folders that we have in the NPC editor uh, folder that I'll upload on Nexus. We have the SPC uh, NPC uh, uh, characters uh, XSLT, and we also have the rename SPC characters XML. So let's open up the XSLT and talk about what we have going on here right now. So what we see here is this is going to is where we're going to list all of the IDs that we want to replace. So for instance, since we want to replace the Sturgeon recruit, I'm going to replace. Uh, put their ID right here and then I'm going to open up my rename uh, SPC characters NPC or SPC characters uh, XML file and I'm going to place that troop here the whole entire actual you know ID where the troop has its um, uh, upgrade targets uh, the uh, equipment rosters and all the fun stuff that matter inside the game all right so I'll have that listed there if you're curious about where I actually pull this, if you want to, let's say, uh, wanted to replace another recruit, so let's find another recruit that we want to replace just for fun, so I can show you how we actually pull this. Um, let's do uh, Vlandia. Good old Vlandia, or Vlandian. All right, so say I just want to replace the recruit, because we can place uh, each individual ID, which is really cool, or, or each individual troop, and we don't have to replace the whole entire troop tree. Um, so let's just do the recruit and let's copy the NPC character at the beginning of it and let's get the whole thing right here. We want to copy that and bring it over to our surgeon recruit. So let's bring all the way down to the bottom. Back down here, make sure we're still inside of our NPC characters. Go there and boom, we're going to paste that there. So there we go. So it's still going to keep its uh, regular upgrade path, but um, this is where we can make all of our changes inside of our XML folder. So don't uh, change it inside of Bannerlords because it'll that's when you're really overriding some things. But we're going to change it inside of our rename NPC characters. So we'll change this to uh, Red Robin recruit. I've never eaten at Red Robin, but that's <laughs> that's what we're that's what we're uh, listing it. All right, so we got the Red Robin recruit, and we're going to save it and. What we also want to do is want to make sure we have the Vlandia recruit listed on our XLST XSLT uh, folder. So let's copy this line right here, and we want to make it kind of clean so we can do drop this here and do uh, uh, Vlandian. There you go. Excuse me, cat. Cats trying to jump up here. All right, so we're going to instead of uh, sturgeon, let's replace it with land in right here. So this is the ID we'll want to replace. So boom, just like that. All right, so save that. There we go. So that's how we pull our IDs uh, straight from the um, uh, Bannerlord. Um, sandbox uh, core uh, module data folder. Okay, so which I'll actually put the link in the description as well. Not the link, but the um, the address path <laughs> in the description because that may be, uh, may be different for everybody. Um, but anyway, all right. So now that we've changed those, we've added those, um, let's go inside of our, uh, inside of our, let's see, our NPC, our rename NPC characters folder and ch make some changes with some of the troops because right now these are just some of the basic uh, names so the uh, surgeon warrior those things are normal so let's actually change a few things like I, I changed the name for the recruit to smurf recruit or smurf recruit so that's fun um, we'll change some of the items in game uh, so we'll load in I'll show you a quick way to change some items really really quickly 
and then we'll uh, hop back in our folders and see what uh, changes we can make. Um, or we may be able to do, do them simultaneously. We'll see. Like I said, this could be a longer video because it's a little bit more of an in-depth of how, to, how these actually work and communicate and talk. So anyway, um, yeah, so we changed some names. Uh, uh, maybe, I guess we could if we really wanted to change the upgrade path, but I wouldn't suggest it. Uh, just, you know, starting out and figuring out what does what. So let's go ahead and see uh, what changes are in game. Let's go ahead and minimize that. And we'll launch Bannerlord. And right off the bat, what I'm going to have is the NPC editor. But also, I'm going to equip the uh, Equipment XML Print uh, module, which is fantastic. And I'll leave a link in the description. But it's a great uh, modders resource if you really wanted to equip some troops uh, really quickly uh, without you know, spending too, too much time individually you know, copying each item you know, uh, ID over. So yeah, so let's go ahead and launch this and we'll uh, jump into it. All right, um, starting your game. So I'm gonna skip through here a little bit. All right, yeah, yeah, Jesus, that's a long name. Good God. All right, I like it. All right, so let's see what we have. Let's go ahead and look at our first troop. So let's go over to the Sturgeons. See if there's any changes made. Just go to recruit troop. And look what we got. We got the Smurfs. We got the Smurfs in town. Um, yeah, so the Smurfs work. Those are changed. Um, and like I said, we can change each individual troop. So we also changed the uh, Blandians, right? Uh, was that the Red Robin? Uh... <laughs> red robin recruit there you go so right there we have the red robin recruit now let me show you how to change some of the items on these characters pretty quickly so one of the first things that i want to do say i don't like what he's wearing i want to completely change that what i would do using the uh, xml uh, print mod that we have so you're not going to have a lot of the items that i have um because it's from my uh TTSK module, but let's grab some Bannerlord native um, equipment sets and, and copy them over. So let's see what we got here. Uh, Walling armor. Oh, that's not native. There we go. Scholar. And let's grab spear. And what else we have here? So, no, that looks fun. Alright. Pretty decked out. Not too bad, but it'll do. It'll do. Alright, so um, what we want to do is we want to hit the uh, print XML copy uh, button, which is going to be listed in, in the link in the description. And uh, with this copied, what I like to do is pull up a notepad and then I want to paste it in here. So now I can see uh, each individual item. So this right here so we can kind of read this a little bit all right so we have the listed in uh item slot zero we have the sentinel sword two we have the pike nah, i'm not even trying to pronounce that I'm not, uh and then we have the northern spear um listed right here and then we have our spiked helmet right there for the head and for the body we can see up the monk robe or scholar's robe but the id is monk robe um and then we have the wrap leather boots and wrap leather boots. So, yeah, this is kind of cool because this is where you can kind of see that uh, the IDs do not always uh, match the uh, <laughs> the name of the actual item in game. So that's always fun. So anyway, yeah, so now that we have the equipment for our uh, Red Robin recruit, um, let's go ahead and equip them. Uh, well, he's a Red Robin, so let's give him a, a, at least a, a cape. Let's give him a little cape or something. I feel bad. We'll call him Red Robin, not give him a little bit of a red. There we go. All right. So let's press the button again. Copied it. Let's go over to our notepad. Paste it in. Now we have our cape. We have our Tanya cloak listed. Even though it's a tartan cape. <laughs> All right. So 
so now that we have all that, let's put this over to the side for a second. And let's open up our um, our XML. So our rename XML, where our Red Robin recruit is. Let's go all the way down at the bottom. Now, what we're going to see is we have a few different um, equipment sets that we can replace. So there are four for this uh, recruit specifically. And so what we can do is we can look and try to uh, see exactly what we want to replace for uh, each uh, equipment set. So I want to replace uh, the, I want them to have everything that I have listed here. So if I want to equip everything except for the, uh, we're not going to list the horse and harness, horse harness just yet. I'll show you where to put those. Uh, but let's just take the legs and every other item inside of this equipment roster. So just copy that under the equipment roster and these little blocks here. So I'll copy that. And we're going to do the same thing and paste it over here on this side. So under the equipment roster, I'm going to copy this and just paste it there. So boom. So it just should look just like that. And Visual Studios is pretty smart enough, uh, <laughs> smart enough to where it'll uh, flag an error if there's an error or an issue. So there we go. So now say we wanted them to have um, a horse. So what we can do is make sure that I don't think we have to list that th their cavalry. Yeah, we do. Okay, so they can still be listed under the um, infantry uh, default group, just so there's no confusion. And But let's go ahead and add the uh, horse under the equipments. So what I'm going to do is list this right. So what part I want to do here. these and I'm gonna put these right here all right pretty sure that's right um yeah because that's gonna apply to all of them it should um had an issue with, with um I think it switched before I don't know but anyway so we're gonna put it on the outside right on the outside of equipments um and see if it works if not oh well we'll, we'll figure it out um okay so now we gave them a horse getting pretty uh, cool equipment sets and so since we want to maybe maybe want to change up you know their variety of equipments their sets let's uh create another one so let's go into here and let's change up the armor a little bit more just for fun just so you guys can see how all this kind of works change the sets around um, those, I have to make sure these are native armors as well. Okay, those are good. Uh, completely change your weapons. Let's give you a jagged spear and, yeah, there you go, we'll relax. And change up our armor a little bit. Actually, these are all native items. I don't have uh, my mod um, activated right now. So, um, okay, so let's go ahead and hit the equipment XML. Copy the button over to our. Equipment roster, paste it. There we go. So now, let's go to our XML. See what we want to change. Let's change everything. The legs, grab all those, and put it right under the equipment roster. Right there. Boom. And let's do that for the rest of them. So right under equipment roster, and boom. And one more time, right under equipment roster, just like that. All right. So those are good. I think uh, I think we're all set. So let's go ahead and save that. Uh, and also, let's see the arm trader. Let me rename some of these guys as well and figure out where they're at on here. Okay, just arm trader. I'll put Smurf. Just so we can see if we changed anything, which I know we did, but just so you guys can see the change and you can change it yourselves to whatever you'd like. Um, but it's just for an example. All right, Smurf, and then we got the Smurf uh, veteran. Uh, What's that? Militia, Spearman. Then we got the Smurf, 
and you can change their cultures. That gets a little hairy, um, but um, you should be you should be safe. Um, but I, I just don't, don't change the cultures. Just we'll edit that out. <laughs> don't change the cultures. All right, so we got Smurf. So you guys get the gist of it. So I'm just going through. I'm making just random behind changes, but you guys can go through, change it to wherever you want. Um, save it you can do the same thing with the troops just change their equipment sets to whatever um, by just going through and using that you know copy and paste on the uh, notepad but let's go ahead and uh, save it and what we can actually do is we can select done and if we save and exit we should be able to load right back into our uh, game and the game should have uh, updated our changes so let's see um, and if not, sometimes it does, uh, you'll have to back out completely and then load back in to see some of your, your changes, especially if you add them to the, yeah. All right, let's see what we have here. All right. Um, let's see, rename to 2375. <laughs> Guys, I told you, I knew it. I knew it. I knew that's not where it went. Okay, uh, okay, hey, we knew it. Okay, cool. All right, all right, let's go, uh, let's go ahead and close this out. All right, so what we're gonna do then is not put the uh, horse equipment sets here. I'm gonna back these out. And uh, that should be normal. All right, to so remove those equip from the equipment sets. But say we do wanna add give them horses, let's figure out where those go. So let's find a troop inside the um, the Bannerlord's uh, native uh, uh, SPC NPC characters XML. Let's look at a troop that has a horse and let's figure out you know where that's actually listed. All right, because that's how I learned. <laughs> um, all right, so pikemen, infantry, swordsmen, um, sergeant, light cavalry. Here we go, or cavalry. Uh, so requires an upgrade okay so we see that it is listed as the default group cavalry so we may have to change that but we'll we uh we'll keep an eye on it um but let's see so if we look here so the equipment sets or equipment roster uh we see we they do not list the uh the horses here or, or their uh um or their um, harnesses or anything like that here so we we're correct there so let's figure out where they do list it okay and it looks like they list it right under still inside the equipment sets so right here so let's it still in there right so we'll do the same thing so let's go back to our XML here and we're going to copy this because we do want our recruits to have horses and instead of putting it there we're going to put it right inside of here there we go so just like that so right under uh civilian true just put that there and we'll save it so now let's relaunch Bannerlord to see what we have. All right, so we'll press play. Right, so let's see. We'll do a uh, let's do a new campaign. Yeah, we'll do a new campaign. All right, there we go. And slip through here. You guys know the drill. So let's go up here. Let's check this out. All right, so we got our Smurf recruits. And let's see some of the changes that we made. <laughs> got a Smurf uh, Spearman, Smurf Lime Breaker. Okay, so we changed that. Fantastic. That looks good. All right, what about our militias? Did we change? No, what was the militias? No, it was the uh, Landian, the Red Robin. With Robin Recruit. All right, so let's see what we got. Look at that. He's all changed. He looks nice and party. And looks like there is two sets. Um, so it's kind of cool. What's smart about uh, or about Bandalore is that they, if there is a duplicate of the same set, it will only, it'll just combine the two. So uh, that's something that's recently been updated, I believe. Because um, it wasn't always there like that before. 
But um, but yeah, so that's pretty much it, guys. That's how you change your NPCs. That's how you change your troops, your god, god, what you call it, uh, caravans, um, even the villagers. Like that's how I was able to kind of individually change like each uh, like troop uh, by their cultures and stuff like that. Um, so you can go as in depth as you want with this. So if we go over to the um, the X S uh, LT. We just, you know, always remember that we add the ID that we want to replace here, and then we add the full ID of the troop or whatever NPC here in our uh, other uh, XML. Um, and if we're looking to you know find a, a ID that we would like to replace, you just go to your uh, Bandlord uh, Sandbox Core module data folder and open up their uh, SPC NPC characters XML. And uh, you can search for that specific ID and copy it over to your um, uh, XML folder, you know, with your NPCs and just go crazy as long as they're listed here and they're talking. And then we let's also look at our XML or our submodule XML before we uh, wrap this up and let's see what this looks like. So you guys can see that we have our rename SPC NPC characters XML here, and we have the um, just a regular uh, XML node talking to our XS, uh, XSLT uh, folder as well. So those two need to be there, and those and these two need to be in your uh, module data folder. Okay? That's it. That's all you need. We did it. We did it in under... How long is this video? Uh, I can't see it from here. But, um, no. No, it's 20 minutes. Okay, 20 minute video. Not bad. Not bad. Alright. King out, guys. You guys enjoy. I'm excited to see your creations.